Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. Third time this escalator has broken down this week. Oh. Looks like Detroit is burning once again. Hot. It just frustrates me how some of you grow humans as I hope you're just here to listen. Although Mr. Taggart is done with his speech already. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world. Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Tagger. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. My heart goes out to you. Perhaps it's best that you came to me rather than bringing this recording to the police. You need it to be some kind of proof because you're still suffering. You're trying to find someone else to blame for the emotional trauma you experienced when you woke up from that surgery and discovered you were no longer quite human. The reason I'm obsessed with the past, Taggart, is that there are still five people missing and their attackers haven't paid for what they did. Your refusal to help me is getting in the way of justice. Well, of course, justice is very important to me, naturally. What I question is whether or not you're on the right path to find it. What is it you're truly looking for here? Absolution? A return to the feeling of control you lost when your limbs were taken from you? Do you think coming here today and casting me as your enemy will help you achieve that? I don't have to make you my enemy, Taggart. Your actions speak for themselves. You started the anti-augmentation movement, and now anti-augmentation terrorist groups are making headlines every day. You always say Humanity Front isn't violent. But look outside. We're seeing proof that it is. I speak out against it, but I just can't get it to stop. 
I founded Humanity Front to prevent others from suffering the way I suffered. After an augmentation addict murdered my wife. I did it to reduce the amount of violence in this world, but you cannot understand such an approach. That's why you falsely claim my people are involved in terrorist acts. You're mistaken and you're lying. Who's the one showing disrespect to your wife's memory right now? You chose to be responsible for everyone underneath you the day you chose to be the boss. Sandoval launched an attack on Seraph Industries, and you're hiding him from me? You're no better than he is. You impertinent son of a... Mr. Jensen. If you knew Isaiah Sandoval as well as I do, if you knew the core of his being, in spite of his family history, you too might fight tooth and nail to defend him as I have. But you're right. If he has done something regrettable, then the truth needs to come out, whatever it may be. I'll show you where Isaiah is. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people. People suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I... I understand, but please try. I've told you all I know, Mr. Jensen. Isaiah has an apartment on Grand River Road. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not. Source, God damn it! I need backup now. Jensen, I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too. Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until. Damn it! Look, something big is going down, and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. 
But Brick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at, and take care of the threat if you can. Even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution? Did he have the shirt too? What? Anyway, he practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight! It has to be! So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perp facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy, hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, relax. Keep it together. I'm trying, Adam. I don't think I'm cut out for this kind of stuff. People could die. We could die. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, okay. But it could be anywhere. He wouldn't risk going to the precinct. Too many people would recognize him. That leaves the transit station, the sewers, and the alleys around the precinct. Look, I need to stay here and report any leads to my CO. Can you check those locations for Jacob? Or his bomb? No problem. Anything else you can give me? I... Uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. <laughs> 